Okay, so we've talked a little bit about uh, about how much graphical performance we've got on the uh, uh, on the device. Uh, so we thought we'd uh, show you a little uh, a little piece of content. So this, I think, is uh, a piece of content quite a lot of you have probably seen before. Um, kind of venerable now, uh, about 2000-ish. Right, let's do a time demo. So the um, it's rendering at 1080, um, four times anti-aliased. Um, we uh, we've set all of the uh, lighting and geometrical detail settings to maximum, so it's using uh, using light map lighting. Um, wait for it to come up. There we go. Okay, so um, you see the frame rate counter in the top right hand corner. We're actually a little bit um, a little bit disappointed with some of the frame rates we're getting in this in this clip. Um, and we've, we've seen this piece of content run rather faster on uh, on the same device in the past, so uh, we think we have some sort of uh, we think we have some sort of floating point, maybe a floating point library issue. Um, we're digging into that at the moment. It's still pretty playable though for multiplayer. Um, I think you maybe in a week or two's time we'll uh, come back and uh, do you a video of some of us playing uh, playing deathmatch uh, on some of these devices and network together. Um, but uh, I certainly remember. I remember spending what 250, 300 pounds on a graphics card that, that couldn't render this this fast. So uh, um, yeah, so we think this bodes pretty well for the the kind of kind of level of uh, uh, level of gaming that you should be able to do on the device. And certainly, it's uh, a lot faster than any of the other chips we could have uh, we could have chosen to use.